Welcome to my channel. We're making soap truffles today for an upcoming project. I'm using my standard recipe. If you're interested, you can check it out in the description. I'm splitting off the batch because I will make three different types of truffles in different colors and fragrances. I did add some yellow vibrance mica to the first part here and give it a stick blend to incorporate it well. Then I add a fragrance oil called Lemon Peel from a company called Saint Perfic in the UK. The first truffle series will be a lemon one. Here are some ice cube trays, very common ones from a local shop. I just like these shapes a lot and they make a cute truffle. The next one will mimic a strawberry type truffle and I will add Hollywood Pink Mica from Nurture Soap. Keep in mind that the color will get lighter after saponification. You can always add some titanium dioxide to lighten up the color if needed. And the fragrance is Black Raspberry Vanilla. I typically just hand mix the fragrance with the spatula to avoid the thick trace. Let's pour this one into the molds as well. The last one is going to be a coffee truffle and I'm using chestnut brown mica from You Make It Up. The fragrance will discolor the soap quite a bit so I'm not going for a dark brown immediately. This fragrance here is called Jamaican Cafe and Walnuts. It's a great fragrance, but it will discolor. With such dark fragrances in general, always plan your design to become very dark. Here I'm pouring the last series of truffles. I like to use a spatula or a cake spatula to spread the soap well into the cavities when it becomes too thick. And just as a tip, it's very wise to let these sit for a couple of days as the soap tends to stay soft in single cavities silicone molds. The longer the better, so to speak. Let's come back and see how they turned out. It's three days later. I usually stretch the mold around the soap to determine if the soap will come out easily. And if it's not ready, I just leave it longer. There is no need to rush, as you will just ruin the truffle if they are too soft. As you can see, they come out all right and they smell amazing. It's now time to prepare the icing as well as the decoration. Here are some melt and pour embeds I prepared beforehand that we can add to the icing. Some lemon slices, strawberries and coffee beans. And what I like to do is to use the exact same recipe for piping as I use for the regular soap and I just let it sit for a while until it reaches piping consistency. I do have a separate video going into all the nitty gritty and tips and tricks covering piping. I will leave the link to that video in the description for you to check out if you are interested. This piping tip is one of my favorites. It is an open star tip. There are so many cool tips that you can use. I am demonstrating the different common ones in my piping video. I am using a smaller one here because of the size of the truffles. But when making regular cupcakes, I like to use the giant ones. It makes it also easier to pipe. I'm just going to pipe a little dollop on top of each one of these. I think it really turned out quite cute. Let's go ahead and add the embeds on top. This is my favorite part. I removed my gloves to do this, but this is not a good thing to do. But in my case, I have difficulties controlling the embeds with my gloves on. 
So please, if you are like me, be very careful not to touch the fresh soap. I think they really turned out really cute. Of course, it's not a soap that is very practical to use, or long-lasting for that matter, but how cute will it look as a decoration in the bathroom, maybe in a cute box, like here, or on a cupcake glass. If you're interested in other soap making related videos, check out the playlist on the screen. You will find so many more. Feel free to subscribe and see you next time. Bye!